So, as you know, energy has many forms, such as kinetic or chemical energy. Today, we are going to focus on sound energy and how it works. Sound is made by vibrations. Most of the time, we can't see them because they are quite fast. For example, a string that makes the sound of middle C on a guitar needs to vibrate about 260 times every second. That is just far too fast for the human eye to see. You can find examples of sound everywhere around you. When you talk with your friends, when something falls on the floor, or when you're listening to your favorite song. But how does sound travel? As you know, the air around us is not made up of nothing. It consists of many different gas particles which the sound waves use as a medium to travel. Therefore, sound cannot travel in a vacuum. That's why the scene from Star Wars would look like this. Also, that's the reason why no one in space can hear you scream. Sound can also be reflected. It's called an echo. Anyways, it occurs when sound bounces off a hard and smooth surface like a wall. That's why walls in sound studios are covered in foam to prevent echoes by absorbing the sound vibrations. In Orfield Labs in America, there is an anechoic chamber which absorbs 99.9% .9 of sound. It's so quiet that the longest anyone has been able to stand it before beginning to go a bit crazy is 45 minutes. You know that feeling when we're in a car with our parents on a motorway and they accelerate to 140 kilometers per hour, even though they shouldn't? And you think that, wow, that's fast. Imagine accelerating to the speed of sound, which is 340 meters per second, or around 1220 kilometers per hour. That's really fast, but we can go even faster. Fighter jets can easily exceed this speed, and when they do, you hear that boom sound. The human ear can hear sounds that are very faint and some very loud sounds. The scientific name for the loudness of a sound is the sound intensity level and it is measured in decibels. The rustling of leaves is around 10 decibels. A normal conversation is 60. 70 decibels can cause harm to your ears. That's why on construction sites, people sometimes wear ear protection. At 120 decibels, the sound is so loud that it is actually painful. Even more than listening to your friend's new mixtape. Anyways, as I was saying, it is very painful to your ears. Remember that jet I was talking about before? That's around 140 decibels. Sound also varies in frequency. The lower the frequency, the more bass it gets. And the higher it is, the more squeaky sound gets. Humans' hearing ranges are around from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Of course, just because we can't hear the rest of the frequencies, it doesn't mean that they don't exist. Horror movie soundtracks sometimes include infrasound, which is sound below the range of human hearing. Even though we can't hear it, we can still feel it, and infrasound has been shown to induce anxiety, heart palpitations, and shivering. And above our hearing range, there is a dog whistle. You can't hear it when you blow in it, but your dog hears it just fine. So, how powerful is sound? Well, did you know if you shout and make a noise that is 1.1 thousand decibels loud, it will create a black hole destroying our whole galaxy? 